Hello, Familia. Glory be to God for another beautiful day. We are on Matthew chapter 4, or Matit Yahu in the Jewish translation. And I am just so grateful for our God and for his word. And so may he empower us to hear it together this day in the mighty name of Yeshua. I pray and I give him all glory, honor, and thanksgiving, for I know that he is helping us here. We only need to be willing. Let us be willing. Hallelujah and amen. <laughs> it says this, Then the Spirit led Yeshua up into the wilderness to be tempted by the adversary. After Yeshua had fasted 40 days and nights, he was hungry. The tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, order these stones to become bread. But he answered, The Tanakh says, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of Adonai. I am a witness. It's true, we cannot live on bread alone. We must live on every word that proceeds from the mouth of Adonai. Glory be to God. Let it be so, Abba Father. Then the adversary took him to the holy city and set him on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, jump. For the Tanakh says he will order his angels to be responsible for you. They will support you with their hands so that you will not hurt your feet on the stones. Yeshua replied to him, but it also says, do not put Adonai your God to the test. Once more, the adversary took him up to the summit of a very high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory and said to him, all this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. Away with you, Satan, Yeshua told him. For the Tanakh says, Worship Adonai, your God, and serve only him. Then the adversary let him alone, and angels came and took care of him. When Yeshua, when Yeshua heard that Yohanan, John, had been put in prison, he returned to the Gal Galil, but he left Nazareth, or Nazareth, and came to live in Kephar Nahum, Capernaum, a lakeshore town near the boundary between Zavulum and Naphtali. This happened in order to fulfill that what Yesha, Yahu, Isaiah the prophet had said, land of Zavulum and land of Naphtali, toward the lake beyond the Jordan, the leal of the nations, the people living in darkness have seen a great light upon those living in the region, and the shadow of death Light has dawned. Hallelujah. From that time on, Yeshua began proclaiming, Turn from your sins to God, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Glory, hallelujah. Familia, turn from your sins to God, for the kingdom of heaven is here. Hallelujah. As Yeshua walked by Lake Kinneret, he saw two brothers who were fishermen, Shimon, known as Kepha, and his brother, Andrew throwing their net into the lake. Yeshua said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers for men. At once they left their nets and went with him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, Yahaf ben Zavdai, and Yohanan, his brother, in the boat with their father Zavdai, repairing their nets, and he called them. At once they left the boat, and their father went with Yeshua left their father, they left the boat and their father and went with Yeshua. Forgive me, I just wanted to make sure I read that correctly. Yeshua went all over the Galil, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing people from every kind of disease and sickness. Word of him spread throughout all Syria and people brought to him all who were ill, suffering from various diseases and pains and those held in the power of demons, and epileptics, and paralytics, and he healed them. Hallelujah! Huge crowds followed him from the Galil, the ten towns, Jerusalem, Judah, and ever ha Yarden. Glory be to God, Familia! Adonai is here, and he has sent us our Redeemer. Our Redeemer lives! Amelia. Hallelujah and amen. May we know deeper and deeper in our hearts 
just how much he lives for us and lives to intercede for us. Amelia. Hallelujah and amen. Our Redeemer is here and he is coming back. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, Familia. Shalom Aleichem.